All right. We're back. Circling Back Podcast coming to you live from the Lodge, presented by Vizzy Hard Seltzer, the only hard seltzer with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. My name is Will DeFries. To my left, David, Mr. Hootstick himself, Ruff. If you're going to lead off the pod with a new song, a <coughs> new voice, you got to stick with it. You can't just work back into your old I got too excited. Voice. That was his mega chill. It's 420 voice. I sounded like, but Micah. I got too excited, so I, I had to transition into my normal cadence. That was your mind of Micah voice. Mind, of Micah. Okay, let's just talk about it. What's going on with Drake and Taylor? Are they putting out some music together, or are they just friends, or is it something far more, dare I say, fucking hot? Should we have done headlines on this? I think she has a boyfriend, right? Isn't she getting married? You know, she keeps know. she plays her cards pretty close to her, Dave. I don't know what she's up to these days. Does she? <laughs> she never talks about her uh, romantic. Well, I think she talks about it after the fact. True. I don't. I feel like when in in the actual like throes of her relationships, we're kind of just hung out there to dry. I mean, I don't know. I'm looking on Dumois. You got the tea. I can't find any tea. What's the I'm tea, dude? For the tea. Okay. What's the tea? That's what I'm saying. I'm searching for the T. I'm looking for the T. I haven't unfollowed du, uh, Dumois yet. I got a warrant out for the T. Are you doing a 10 year investigation on it? I'm a T, correct. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they might not be together when that investigation concludes. Right. It's right. Yeah, well. We got Mr. Low T himself, Dylan Shivery in the building. So right now I'm sipping on that gas. But when I, when I leave here, I'll be burning on that gas because it's 420. Right. And you know I, I burn. Also, let me be the first to wish uh, Fritz a happy 420. Thank you. Thank you. He's, AKA, he's very AKA excited. his birthday. Yeah, he's very, very excited cool. about that. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, uh, I saw yesterday, so I was in the office alone, you know, kind of just vibing out in here. It was like, you know, about four o'clock. Randy had just headed out. And uh, I was just doing some straightening up in the office, and I saw that somebody had left a mug just sitting in the sink from their bing bong. And given, I don't think you, you've, not, you haven't made any bing bong here yet, have no. you, Dave? I haven't made any bing bong here. Brett doesn't drink bing bong. Brett's an anti bing bong guy. I've never seen Randy drink a, a cup of bing bong before. I don't know what Randy does. It's weird. I, I don't know who could have left that mug in the sink all dirty. It's just setting a nasty precedent for our sure kitchen. Are you sure I did that? I don't, absolutely you. Are you sure? I don't know who else it would have been unless it was Will and he's just deflecting. Dave, do you want to go over there and see if the mug is still sitting in the yeah. sink? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe someone use it for something else. Dude, I'm going to call you Mr. Coffee Pot because you're about to get poured out. <laughs> You're scared right now. You're playing real scared. Oh, Randy, is it, are you owning it? Yes. Ah, oh, oh, I see. We've thank you, Randy. We've solved the mystery. We've solved the mystery. In turn, Adam, I would never do that. I'm very responsible with my dishes. That's why I called you out for it. Hey, you need to let Adam know there's a new init- a new dish initiative here. We don't have, uh, you know, custodial service. I'm not mad at Adam. Dinner. I'm not mad at I'm mad at you. That's on you, Randy. Yeah, that's yeah true. that is on Adam you. Adam reports to you, Randy. Randy's got to he's got to be you. better. Hey, own your shit. Bro. Hey, also I would like a formal apology. Do you know Do you know what's Jocko? I would like a formal apology. I want the backers to hear it. Go ahead. I apologize for creating a bulletproof case against you leaving your stuff in the sink. No, no, no. You Ooh. you lobbed an accusation. They just and I just got shot in the leg we just by went, intern Adam. We just went from Dumois to Larue. That was a straight up accusation, <laughs> and uh, I've been proved it's innocent. A good reference. Thank I've you. been proved innocent, and you need to apologize. I just apologized. Not really. I'm All st- charges dropped. You're free to go. All right, well, given that it's 4:20 and the vibes are just mega chill, and I'm going to be high as a kite in 45 minutes from now, you know. Uh, I'll just let it go, but don't don't do it again. Okay. Deal. I'm not gonna get high. I'm just I'm just kidding. You said 45 minutes. Like unless this is a short podcast, you're gonna be. It sounds like you're gonna be burning on the pod. Maybe I will. I gotta take part to a baseball game later, so I'm not gonna burn. You can smoke weed at baseball games. I'm not gonna smoke weed at a seven year old's baseball game. I think it's more acceptable to be high at a baseball game than drunk at your son's baseball game. Easier to hide, I would imagine. Probably. Put some shades on. And just like no one berates an umpire while high. It's like that call, that was not a good call. That's how it would go. Is that this is high Dylan? Hey, what's up, man? Dude, the what umpires are, are, Dylan? Are, are like 10 year olds. They just volunteer. Yeah, uh, those kids don't know shit. And it, and they take it way too seriously and I, they're pretty annoying about it. But mm-hmm. 
Like there's one, there's one little ump, he's 10 and he's like given warnings about leaving bats out and stuff. Doing and he, his job. Yeah. He, well, you're, why are you like, criticizing this kid for, like, for dude, doing sh- a good job? It's like, shut up, you little shit. I have a little league question. Are they allowed to slide? Um, I believe they're allowed to my slide. They league? don't, but they're allowed to. Uh, why don't you league, slide? You were out if you slid. It was like player safety. It was like, that's some soft ass shit, man. That yeah. is, that's soft. It's yeah, a YMCA ball. That's real soft. Anyway. I was always like, dude, why don't you slide? I already did that. No one heard it. Oh, I didn't hear. I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. Slide really into your room. Maybe he would do our podcast today familiar. on like Eve 6. I saw him by the doo-doo dolls. If you're out there and, and you're wondering why we're not interviewing the lead singer of Eve Six right now, please just go tweet Eve Six and say, why didn't you go on Circling Back? I don't want to do him like that, but yeah. Look, he, we, we're pretty much boys now. He follows Will and I on Twitter. Not Dylan. Which makes sense. I don't give a shit. I don't know who this guy is. Okay. Uh, hey, man. Chill, dude. Hey, shit. Chill. Hey, it's his okay. name's Max, dude. Like, Honestly, relax. if you follow me, I'll probably just block his ass. You probably have a lot of followers. <laughs> dude, you could use you, it. us. I could use a follow, yeah. I'm still bleeding. But we're going to, next time I'm they bleeding. come through, they were kicking off their tour in Austin. I hope everybody went out to the Mohawk. I couldn't as um, of a kid, as do you. You do too, but you wouldn't have gone anyway. Yeah. No. I spent my light, night last night just crying over children's books. You guys see these children's books that are just made to make you cry? What's the deal with that? I can barely see the words. I was just crying. What's so the hard. one you read? Good Night Moon? Love You Forever, dude. Oh, Good Night Moon's a good one. How's too. it go? I can't do it. Don't make me do it. Fritzy. It's an insta cry. Like, I don't know how people, if you don't, if you make it through that book without crying, you're absolutely heartless. Damn. Okay. Okay. What'd you guys get him for his birthday? A dime bag. You saw my tweet earlier. That's why you referenced time back. Because you don't even know what that is. Narc ass motherfucker. True. <laughs> True. It's ten dollars worth of weed. What do you want? Shit, man. Yesterday's price is not today's price. I mean, the amount of weed ten dollars can buy has probably changed over the years. But ten dollars is ten dollars. I need a dime that's top of the guy. line. I'm twenty sacks only. Really? Didn't they used to call you all twenty sack? Right. It's a terrible nickname. Wait, why? It's not good. It's 20 sacks an actual thing. One season, they put me, they lined me up on the, the edge. I got 20 sacks. Then I blew my knee out. In one season? Or one yeah, game? Yeah, set the record. Damn. Then I blew my knee out and couldn't or, play. I can't imagine you being like a, a badass defensive end. I, don't I, know hit my, I blew out my growth plate. That's why he was growing. good. He could run through their legs. Like, damn, this dude's, this dude's hell. I was a tweener. This dude with the mustache is Dave, I, I, you quick. said you blew your knee out. I'm looking at your knees right now. I'm not seeing any surgery scars no, or anything. That was his back that got blown out, not his knees. Yeah. No, they, they did. They went in through the back of the knee. Oh, really? You get it? Like, your back getting right. blown out? I'm familiar with it. What's the back of your knee called? Because isn't this called, or no, the, the back, your elbow is called the weenus, right? Never heard that. Dude, squeeze okay. my weenus. You can't, it's weird. You can't feel anything in there. You notice that? There are no nerves hold on, in hold there. On. I'm going to pinch my weenus as hard as I can right now. I'm, I'm pinching my weenus. As I could not I, be pinching it harder than I was right <laughs> That's now. That's weird. That's dude. crazy. Wow. Hey, Dave, come touch my dude, weenus. Pinch your weenus. Can I pinch your weenus? Come get my weenus, Doug. I feel like a teenage dirt bag. It's weird. There's no nerves in there. I'm like, Randy's I'm, doing it too. Dude, I'm pinching yeah, it so hard. Look at Randy's weenus. Dude, Dylan is Dylan is absolutely desperate for the thumbnail today. Desperate for the thumbnail. Oh, here come our mail key. Let's go. All right. Randy, go get the mail key. Go this is exciting key, stuff, dude. Thank you, sir. We're becoming an actual company. Yeah, we, we can check our mail now, which is huge. Yeah. Mail. Very cool. Man. Hey, I got some announcements to get out of the way. You guys ready for these? <laughs> First and foremost, yesterday we did a Patreon episode. We did Dad Pod. Thanks to everyone who sent in. We just talked about dad parenting shit. Yeah. Uh, if you want to send in your own question, you go to washmedia.com slash submit, and we'll get to it next month. Also, we're doing Worst Of on the Patreon. We're doing Randy's Game Show next week. It's just big things popping over there. Patreon.com slash back podcast. A good dad pod epi. Yeah, I've decided I'm not going to do questions anymore about like, hey, what what products would you recommend? Like, you know, we already did that one. So I'm just, I'm only doing fun questions from here uh, on out. Spoiler alert. We just talked about our son's weenuses for like 20 minutes. Yeah, they have no nerves down there. It's weird. What also, did? voicemails. We're doing voicemails tomorrow. 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Go like and subscribe. YouTube.com slash washed media. 
And finally, our friends over at Early Bird. Early Bird gummies are recreational hemp products that contain around 2.5 milligrams of THC and around 12.5 milligrams of CBD in each gummy. These things are formulated for fun and to make you feel good. Being that today's 420, what a day for this sponsor. They're actually doing a sale today. So if you're on there today and you've already used your promo code, which is for us, it's promo code STEAM. If you've already used that promo code and you want to do something else, in honor of 420, every order today will get you a limited edition sticker by Austin artist Will Bryant. And you can get 20% off everything at earlybirdcbd.com using 420 as your code. Maybe we need Will Bryant to do some uh, artwork at the studio. I would absolutely love it. I would absolutely love it. That dude's got mad skills, man. You already know what Early Bird is. I love these things. I've been, I've been, I've been hitting those lemons lately. It's been a lemon party over at my crib. Dude, I've been, I've been going crazy on the Don't lemons. Don't look at me. I took, I, I've not been to said party. I took one and a half last night, and I was out like a light. I slept like what? a freaking newborn. Do baby. you feel like kind of when you when you they take that half one, you put it back in the package? Well, you put your little half one back. The reason in the I package. took a half just because uh, Bay wanted a half the other night, and I cut it in half, so it was already there. I didn't like bite did it. Did you in half. did you guys cut it in half, or did you like uh, Lady in the Tramp it? We usually do that, actually. Like that's just facts. We do that, but I, this one was cut. It was clean. I did a half a half one the other day. I, I did was, one last I was night. hung over, very hung over Sunday, and I was like, you know what? I normally don't, don't do these during the day. Did a half one. Had a great little Sunday. Watched some golf. Some I'm obsessed, snack. man. I went, I went into my pantry last night, and I was looking for something sweet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw a little sample pack, a little, little strawberry sample pack. Sitting there that ha it had one left in it, and I was like, you know what? It's time. Yeah. Let's do this. I need to reload soon, dog. I slept like a baby. Like I said, in honor of 420, every order will get you a limited edition sticker by artist Will Bryant. The following discount codes, uh, or our discount code is promo code STEAM for 20% off everything at earlybirdcbd.com. Again, promo code STEAM. Or if you're ordering today, use promo code 420. Uh, it's time to talk about something very important in the news cycle right now. Uh, something that's very near and dear to us is being slandered, uh, and there's concerns surrounding it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh, let's hear the tea. I'm not talking about fajitas. I'm talking about espresso martinis. You guys hear about these? Some are saying that we were a little too early on the espresso martini wave. You spilled a tea knee on it. Why are you doing the mm -hmm. Randy, you hear that one? You didn't hear it. I can't even look at you. That's okay. Would you say espresso martinis are the hottest beverage going right now? They're pretty usually serve pretty cold, actually. Hold on, I think the crowd's about to laugh. Oh, no, they didn't laugh. How come you never give me no, the laugh no, no, track? No, that was good. You never give that's me the honestly laugh one track. Of, come that's on. honestly one of Dylan's better jokes. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> it's low-key and high-key, actually, an insult, but okay. Oh, that was good. I no, laughed. I mean, that, that's not like as funny you as I get. You used to accuse me of never laughing. I just laughed at your joke. What's I don't the, know what's the current It cocktail? What is it? If it's no, not a special no, martini, is, I want to know what right. it is. You're right. It is. It's hot in the streets is what you meant. Or what you're trying to say. The Flamingo Dave's pretty hot. What's that? Some people call it like a Paloma, but it's just got a little bit little bit of a different twist on it. It's kind of a new twist and an old favorite. Okay. Okay. Is it pink in color? Because you know pink is my favorite color, Will. Damn. Well, Flamingo. Aerosmith, dude. Flamingos are pink because of what they eat. Do you know that? It's the Hey, you know, they always say, you are what you eat. The, well, they're pink because of, they, of Are you doing diet. a flamingo impression right now? big ass. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> got him. It has oh, gotten, that crowd is it has gotten on bigger you. lately. That's true. No, but they're pink because of what they eat. It's their diet, David. Right. What is it? Algae or plankton? I literally, like I that. said this on the podcast recently. Like, this That's was why my bringing it up. That's, That's why I'm bringing it up, you stupid shit. Well, well I, we all need to have an issue with New York Post. Can I read something from them? Algae, small seeds, tiny crustaceans like brine shrimp, fly larva. Palomas, too. Still... Trying they to figure they out drink what, a lot of Palomas. I had a Paloma at the Rancho problems. the other day. Did you really? People yeah. say I've got a drinking problem. Yeah. Mid Midland. We've actually been trying to talk to you about that. It's a good song, man. Uh, the New yeah. York Post refers to uh, espresso martinis as over-the-counter crack for faux sophisticates. That seems insulting. Faux? <laughs> That's, Who wrote this? Over-the-counter crack for faux sophisticates. I kind of like that. Uh, Johnny Oleksinski. Hey, Johnny, you goddamn son of a bitch. Why don't you come down <laughs> hey, here and tell us about it? Hey, remember when uh, the waitress what? at um, Sammy's sat down at the table. At Sammy's just totally just pulled one over on us. She was like, 
She came up. We were like ready to wrap up. We were all just hammered. And someone ordered an espresso martini to like, as we, the check was about to come. She goes, I was actually just going to see if everybody wanted one. Yeah, we obviously do. No one's going to say no. Thanks for adding $180 to our bill on the last second. Dang, what'd that cost us? $180. $180. The last damage on plus, that. plus tax and tip. So. Sheesh. She was looking at me. I was sitting was at the end of the table, just like, yeah. We, yeah, we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do teenies. Yeah. Just bring them. I was just saying, like, yeah. That's a we'll do a round of espresso martinis for the boys. You, you godfather. The la- you know what? The ladies can have them, too. Say for the regards. Oh, that's very hey. nice of you to let the, let the ladies also yeah. have them. The ladies can have, they can have the drinks as well. The ragazzi is going to be eating, eating and do, drinking well tonight. Do Dick Vitale ordering a, a round of martinis, espresso martinis for the, for only the boys. Trying to get jacked up, baby. <laughs> it's Dinners. time. Dinners for the Hi. boys. Can we get you anything else for a closeout? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dinners, baby. I'm standing right here. I have other tables. What, what do you need? We want some espresso martinis for the boys. <laughs> Only for the boys. And the women. Yeah. And the women. We're Ladies. going full court press on the espresso. Ladies, can I get you anything? The type of dandy. Get Ladies. one for everybody. Okay. Thank you. I'll have those right out. Ladies, is pips too. Well, you did a lot with that, Dick. Wow. Calm, there's a comma in there. Well, our boy Johnny says the pandemic has led to a <laughs> table of sleep habits. Melatonin sales are soaring. What is this? Like, <laughs> shut up, dude. This guy's a fucking wuss. Cool, dude. Baby talk is so inferior. This guy needs to be put They're in recommending that everyone needs to stop drinking caffeine by 3 p.m. And alcohol's a depressant. And once it's metabolized yeah. through your liver, it can affect your sleep. Like, shut up. You know what's a depressant? The current state of the world. Thank you, Dave. I've actually been wondering why we're not talking more about the world and like the the economic and political affairs. I mean, have you seen right. what inflation is doing to food prices? This says this says consuming multiple shots of espresso a day can increase your heart rate and at times be the culprit for atrial fibrillation, anxiety, and depression. Do the joke. Fibrillation. No beating. Here's the face of the guy who wrote this. He's just a total squid. Dude, come on. Let's not do that. He's a total You, can, you can't help what your face looks like. You were just imitating him like a, like a total wuss. Yeah, that's because of his writing. And I was just confirming that he is, in fact, a total wuss. What does this guy order at the bar? They also, they also give a, a warning here. It says, also, coffee can improve the taste of alcohol, and sometimes people may, may not realize how much they're consuming. Savvy, yeah, kind of savvy the B. Yeah, I'm trying to mask take, it. This guy probably doesn't recommend uh, drinking on Adderall either. Probably doesn't like drinking 78 beers and feeling uh, fine until the next day. And then you feel like you want to just drive off the road on your way back from Port A. Uh, not didn't happen to me or anything, but I'm sure it's right. happened to somebody. Sure, probably. Apparently, Kate Moss said of these drinks, she allegedly said that, that this drink exists to wake me up and then fuck me up. Wake me up before you go, go. Hey, man, maybe you should just go, go. What do you mean? <laughs> like leave? Mm-hmm. Should we fight Johnny? Are you guys going to stop drinking espresso martinis no. because Johnny wants you to? Look, I'm going to I'm going to be real with you. Johnny. I have had the thought of like, okay, I probably don't need this espresso at 11:30 p.m. if I want to get anything close to a decent night's sleep, but the fact that I let off the night with um, you know, four other drinks, it probably did me in. So, well, let's just ride. Let's just get that espresso in there. I need me I'm out with the boys. Last time we all went out, 11.30. I'm already thinking about going home. I do an espresso martini. It buys me like 20 more minutes, and then I call the Uber. If we made it through the Four loco endemic, like, we can make it through the espresso martini pandemic. Like, yeah. we're, we're going to be just fine. I'm not worried about it. What I'm about – are there any studies out there, Dave, about Jolt mixed with uh, Pappy Van Winkle? <laughs> A jolly wink? <laughs> There's no way these are worse than vodka Red Bulls. Yeah, I That's, agree with you. Like, at least coffee is like just straight up bean water. Yeah. Hurts nobody. It kind of does sometimes. It stimulates like, the economy. So, full disclosure, back in Duncanville, was looking for Celsius, non-spawn. Was looking, went to two different gas stations. Didn't have it. I settled for re- sugar-free Red Bull. Oh, no. And, dude, I used to drink a lot of those in college and law school. They are not good. Like See, the aftertaste is just the worst. I think I like the aftertaste because I associate it with like high school when I actually loved, I just thought Red Bull was sick. And so it, I think it's like nostalgic for me and I actually enjoy the sugar-free Red Bull just taste. brought you back to like a movie theater getting an HJ. I do like that. Honestly, Dave. I like that. Close. 
They're good. It, it takes me back to being in like the passenger seat of my buddy's Subaru and we're just like doing nothing. Just driving around drinking Red Bull. Smoking weed. I had a couple in Vegas, man. That's we weren't good. even cool enough. Like what we didn't doing? just not talking to chicks. Probably driving to my buddy Stu ha- Stu's house to go play Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than just going out with <laughs> with the boys, having a few espresso martinis and talking to zero chicks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just nothing better. How many espresso martinis do you think we knocked out when we were in Vegas as a crew? 78. A lot. Because like <laughs> at dinners, we were all getting at least one round of espresso martinis at the High Rollers Lounge that we just lived in because we're High Rollers. They're going to be passed around at our wedding reception as they are Bay's signature cocktail. Well, I'm going, to ask, I'm going to ask for a pitcher of espresso martinis for our table so I can fill everybody up when they're, when they're in need. No, please don't. Please don't is, there do any, is there any restrictions on how we can consume it? What do you, can, what do you mean? Uh, like if Will brought a funnel or you Randy wanted, butt wanted, chug, Randy you wanted, wanted butt to chug butt it. chug it. Um, I, I would ask that you not do that at my wedding. Yeah, but would you uh, actually Randy, be that Randy mad if, if Randy keistered an espresso martini at your wedding? Would you be that mad? Um, I don't know if mad would be the word. It'd be like just like totally uh, disgusted with Randy as a person. Yeah, actually, I'd be mad too. Yeah. Like, I don't want Randy's butthole should not make an appearance at my wedding. Can I ask a question about your wedding? What if he's tanning? That's just a. Rule, so, what? He's just supposed thumb. to leave it at home? I just covered up with clothing. Oh, okay. It's probably fine. That's fair. Yeah. Wow. Can I ask a question about your wedding reception? Yeah, man. What's, Are there people up? that will be sitting outside? Um, so there are not, there are no tables to sit at. Oh, okay. It's all standing room. Oh, okay. Okay. And yes, the patio will be available to you. Okay. I was going to request a table not outside as I am a, a certified sweat boy and I don't want to sit no. outside. We'll, we'll get you some AC, dog. Don't worry. I'm going to be pitting regardless. Uh, the only time you'll see me outside is when I'm smoking cigs. Or can we smoke cigs in the reception? Of oh. course. It's encouraged, actually. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's just small plates. I got plate. a new it's cigarette a small, holder. It'll be small okay. plates. Gorilla DeVille? Hors d'oeuvres plus small plates. My pl- so you my can walk around The, the plates are so small. Yeah, please, small. sir, one tiny crumb one, of plate. One, one small plate, please. The alcohol, the for. cocktail menu, though, is fire. Old Speckled Hen is fireball? on there, too. Uh, no fireball. Uh, Will, um, wait, I think I might have your back on that. We're going to be passing around a handle of fireball with a GoPro strapped to it at your, at your reception. <laughs> we did fireball on master Saturday when Dylan got everybody sick. Yeah. I'll, I just got myself sick. No, I no, definitely no. got sick from you. You, you didn't. didn't. Oh yeah. It was a five day delay on the sick. Okay. Provide us some DNA. We'll go test it. We'll compare it to Will. Oh, it just came back. I'm hundred percent that bitch. My antibody test came in today. I'm, I'm still bussing. I'm pro bodies. And we've done this. Yeah. It's a true story that I when you showed me your results and it said greater than twenty five hundred, it, I it took me about three minutes to figure out the greater than or less than sign. Dave, COVID's over, man. No one cares about your antibodies anymore. Dude, oh, okay. <laughs> Tell that to the people in China. Greater than or less than is not easy. That's I not a layup speak, for everybody, Dave. I can't it's, speak Mandarin, so I can't. Okay, that's uh, fair. I'll hop on Cena Weibo and I don't talk know if that's about it. Help. Everyone go put their ones Fuck in the chat of my Instagram. This. Dude, I left a great comment. Did you see it? I haven't seen it yet. Is it any good? I said, happy, and then I used the one, Fritz, and I said, let's burn soon. Wow. Happy birthday. Any other notable birthdays today? I don't know. Why do you? It's Fritz's birthday. Why do you care about anybody else right now? No, I'm just seeing if 420 yields any other birthdays. Let's find out. He's uh, not the only one born on, born on 420, David. He so, might yeah. be. He might be. We're looking it up right now. Uh, Carmen Electra. Ooh, nice. I love her. Her. Andy Circus. Not familiar with him. Yeah, this website is making yeah. me. It's I'm behind the you paywall. Cookies. People forget that Prince named Carmen Electra. <laughs> okay. So we've got some heavy hitters for his birthday. Uh, uh, noted. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not great. Adolf Hitler was born on 420. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's not ideal. Jessica Lang, Luther Vandross. A little Anita. Carmen Electra. We did her. We said her. Sorry, Carmen. Chill out, dude. What is she up to? She's probably wondering how she's still named Carmen Electra after Prince. Prince named her. Your name's Carmen Electra. People forget that. It's, it's a tight fact about her. Napoleon the Third, dude. Look at us. Prince told her. Wasn't aware there was multiple Napoleons. That's embarrassing. So her name is, her given name is Tara. He Luke goes, Keekly. he said, you're not a Tara. You're not Tara. You're Carmen. That, that's the quote. That's how. Carmen Electra. And then she started going like Carmen Electra. Joey Lawrence has a 420 birthday. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
day. Try one. Oh, dude, oh. Wim Hof. <laughs> Wim Hof. We're absolutely cooking right now. Whoa. This is great. Killer Mike. Ooh. Catch a beat running like Randy Moss. Oh. We even got Steve Spurrier. What a day. What a day for Don birthdays. Mattingly. You know my Don Mattingly story. Donnie Love baseball, Don man. What happened? He saw him play once. So. Rangers, Yankees. Old Didn't you Arlington throw him Stadium. on the ground? He was, the Yankees were running laps, running on the warning track, and I was in the outfield because my next-door neighbor was won a contest from Wendy's. I'll get to that in a minute. And he ran by. I was probably five years old, and he looked at me. I didn't know it was Don Mattingly because I was five. And he goes, hey, kid, and gave me a nod. My dad goes, yeah, that was Don Mattingly. He just said hi to you. That's your Don Mattingly story? That's a good story. He said hi to me. He, he said, was the hey, only kid? one in the line that, that acknowledged like a little kid like standing there and all. That story didn't deliver. Then it gets better. The contest my neighbor won, they brought old Arlington Stadium. You did you ever go? The original Texas it was a total yeah, show. Yeah, I think I went. <laughs> did you? Oh yeah. Okay. Really shitty stadium. Actually, I watched Bo Jackson hit the longest home run ever in that stadium. That's sick. That's a good story. Yeah, Wendy's already better than yours. Brought a helicopter in. Hovered over the outfield and dropped fly balls as my neighbor had to catch three, and then he got a year of Wendy's for like a year of free of Wendy's. That's pretty sick. That's dope. Was what Win- a- was Wendy in the helicopter? No, it was her dad, the old guy, that oh, old okay. fuck. I don't know. He's this nice guy. Dave Thomas is that his name? Yeah, DT is what we called him. Really, Dave D Toms. That's better than the Don Mattingly part. Well, it's all part of the same story. So I'm just it's, saying, it's a it's a package deal. I thought it was a good story, Dave. Thanks, man. I think it's kind of messed up. Don Mattingly. God, the Rangers have really gone through two new ballparks since that stadium. And the other one they just left is is great. It's fantastic. Except for it's uh, in a, it's in the middle of Arlington. B, it's very hot. Is it going to be like a a minor league park or something? What's what's the story with it? It's so nice. I heard Dude Perfect just bought it. I I went to Home and Derby there. Did you? you, They were going to turn the Pontiac Silver Dome into a giant strip club. Mike Piazza. You guys ever hear that? Frank Thomas won. Frank Thomas. My Piazza hit one in the All-Star game, I think. No? What? After the Silver Dome was left by the Detroit Lions. The big hurt. It was. You want to go with this? It was yeah, up for look. sale, and it almost got sold to be the world's largest strip club, and they were just going to turn the Silver Dome into a giant strip club. What's going on up there? That's that's unnecessary. It's in Pontiac. Like if there's If there's one place in the world that does not need the world's largest strip club, it's Pontiac, Michigan. Why is Michigan so horny? Don't ask questions and don't do not ask me what's happening in the Upper Peninsula right now. I'm not allowed to talk about it. Stop reaching out to me, everybody. Youpers? Oh. Youpers? Does Ranella have anything to do with it? Can't talk about it. I really don't know what's going on there. There's a viral tweet going on about how there's some shady stuff going on in the Upper Peninsula between some elites. Is this a pedophilia ring? Potentially? I'm not allowed to talk about it. Damn, dude. Why? There's not actually anything going on up there. It's just a stupid viral tweet. This office is really coming together. Uh, You know what else is coming together? My fits this season. Really? Yeah, because of two different people, Mizzen and (laughs) Maine. Just kidding. Okay. I mean, I'm kidding about the people. I'm not kidding about my fits just being dripping. Right. You guys already know about Mizzen and Maine, and I absolutely love them because any company that takes back sweat out of the equation is a company that I'm going to stand for. Their material... um, is it's unbeatable it's I mean, goaded you, we it live really in a, we live in a place that has blistering heat the humidity the heat here like you can't go outside for several months in texas without just sweating you need to you need to protect yourself and now that i can go to a wedding wearing a performance fabric button down shirt it, the, the whole game has changed it's Ooh. been turned on its head Ooh. and that's why you got to go check out mizzen and maine my friends I used to wear stiff dress shirts to like, and, and I hate it. Like I used to like the feeling of a like crispy dress shirt. And now it just makes my skin crawl because I can just feel it wrinkling the second I put yeah. it on with, you, with Mizzen and May, you don't have to worry about that. Even though Bay thinks I'm crazy for doing it, I'll just dry it in the dryer. Yeah. It comes out perfect. Yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? And if it has oh, any yeah, wrinkles on it, you, about can, in Maine. you can just throw it right in the dryer with like a towel or something. And it comes out just perfect. 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 It's a perfect travel shirt. Because you can just toss it in your suitcase and not even have to worry about it when you pull it out. Amen. God. I mean, uh, just go make it happen. Whether you're updating your wardrobe 
or you're heading back into the office or you're just looking for a new fall flannel, we've got news for you right now. Go to mizzenandmain.com, use promo code CIRCLING35 and you get $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. That's $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use our promo code CIRCLING35. Bless the mood. What? Bless the mood. He's getting too much mic time. McConaughey. Well, he's the face of your university. Well, you're a I, fan of. I, I, I am a fan of. Doesn't it look like I tweeted this video based on who the video is coming from? What? what? No. Will oh. Dupree? Oh, that's okay. That is weird. Yeah. Can we tell about, what are we talking about here? Oh, All right. No. So there's a new there's a new thing in Austin, Texas called the Moody Center. It's a new basketball arena for the UT basketball team. It's a new events center for concerts. I'm going to see John Mayer there tonight in the first concert at the new Moody Center. I'm going to see John Mayer there tomorrow night. Uh, must be nice, dude. What's the damage on tickets like that? Z- literally zero. I'm going to go see Eve Six there when they play here next. That's what's up. I'll be with Dave. And we'll not be there. I rock with Dave because Dave rocks with us. Dave. The jacket's sick. Yeah. What about Look, the pants? It's McConaughey. I mean, he's he's a cool mf He's a cool dude. He's still cool. But he's he's it, also just a total bummer. That's a good, Dave, I'm glad you asked that question. Is he still cool? He's like, still cool. cool to us, but is he cool to, you know, he goes to UT Athletics and he's like talks to the baseball and football team. Is he cool to 19-year-old kids? I think his his stick is a little worn on some people. Us, we're about to talk about it. But um, he's still a cool dude. Like, here's a question that I had yesterday. I was listening to John Mayer in the car, just getting psyched up for the concert. And I was thinking to myself, are there going to be a bunch of cool teens at this concert? Or is John Mayer, like, no. old enough now to where, like, teenagers don't care about him anymore? This is no going to be north of 30 and a lot of ladies. That's what I was trying to figure out. And you. Is it going to be? I've never been to a concert. I've never been to. A target-rich environment. <laughs> you know what I'm Whoa, saying? What's, I would never Whoa, you throw know? it in that manner. I'm sure my wife will be happy that I'm targeting women. It's your problem. Fucking MILF hunter over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, yesterday was the ribbon cutting ceremony for the Moody Center, and they invited one Matthew McConaughey to to not only speak at it, but lead the uh, crowd in song. I don't think that they hired him for that. I think this might have gone off script. Randy, can you can we just play? Let's just play the clip. It's a minute and four seconds. It's, so bear with us uh, and what, please set the stage on his outfit. He's currently wearing what I would consider to be a Western hat. I'm not going to call it a traditional cowboy hat. It is a short brim cowboy hat. Which Why did is he? Not my, not the hat my, looks good on him. Not my swag. He should have just worn a straight up cowboy hat. Yeah. Five gallons. But he's McConaughey. This is a little more formal. Looks like it's uh, definitely felt. He's also hitting us with uh, not in season, by the way. A burnt orange suit that looks like it's a tuxedo, not worn with anything. He kind of he, he kind of is rocking the uh, white trim on that jacket, which is kind of sick. I guess it, it does have the vibe of uh, the tuxedo worn in Dumb and Dumber. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it kind of no, does. It, it kind of does. Yeah, it kind of does a little bit. <laughs> Randy, right. play the clip. Play. I apologize, to everyone listening. Just because it'll make me feel good, it is time to bless the mood. Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to bless the mood? Oh my Are God. you ready to bless the mood? I need some help, please. Chris Beard Are looks like bless the mood. Very uncomfortable. Are you ready to come on now? Give me some backup. Bless the mood. One, two, three. Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to oh. bless the mood? Yes. Are you ready to bless the mood? Come on, CDC. Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to bless the mood? Here it is. Are we ready to bless the mood? It starts right now. Thank you, Irwin Center. The memories we have there, we're bringing over here, but it's time to turn like the what? page. Let's keep writing the book. Let's bless the mood. Hook them. Thank you, Austin. All right, that is the definition of uh, tepid participation from the crowd. It, he called Chris Del Conte, the athletic director, CDC. Yeah. Is that what he was talking about? Yeah. yeah. I was very confused. Yeah, CDC, uh, dude. He doesn't have like a, like a cringe barometer, you know? No. Like 10 seconds into that, his instinct should have told him like, this is not working. I need to cut it off. He and fights move through on. But he's he also, just keeps you going. Go, but he, he his stock has been soaring for so long. 
that anytime he starts doing something like that, most of the time people have been buying in. I'm worried that the reconnaissance is coming to its end. Reconnaissance. I don't know if we're doing that. Did you just come up with that? I think I've heard it before. I think I think I read it. It was probably on the Ringer. It's like, are we going through a reconnaissance right now? Ranking all of his best movies from ten things or no? Fuck, how to lose a guy in ten days to? Dude, I'd never had Will botching a, a the rom-com. one where he had cancer. What? Fuck. Which one was that? Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, that was A. He, he won the Oscar. Oh, was A. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, still, I mean, terminal, Oscar winning terminal performance. disease in many cases. If you dramatically change your physique for a role, you're going to win a major award for it. Like it's did. usually not if you get like yoked, though. It's usually there's there's some anti yoke bias. No, you have to you have to get skinny for it. Or like, uh, what's the the woman's name who was a uh, monster? Charlie Theron. Did she win an award for that? She did. She won the she won the Academy Award go. for, for she looked, Monster. Like she got yeah. intentionally gross. No, for you role. can't go on a hotness journey and win an Oscar. You have yeah. to go on an ugliness journey exactly. to win an Oscar. Ooh. Yeah. So brave. That's a ticket, dude. Indeed, yeah. brave. That's a ticket, dog. Yeah, he's never had anyone around him that's been like, hey man, I what if you cut it off after two plus the moods? No, dude. You always have to triple down when it's some, something's going bad. It is cool that he's like so supportive of his university, though. Like, it's cool. Yeah, but what if he? Cool. What if instead of that, he he just led them with like I don't know, the eyes of Texas. Like, why? Why not? I know that's problematic because Dylan. why? <laughs> why do eyes of Texas yeah. when you can bless the mood? So yeah, he, it's an original. It's a McConaughey original. I'm glad that we're 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 blessed today to have somebody in the studio who is a UT fan, Dylan. So, which of your Frank Irwin Center memories are you bringing with you to the new Moody Center? <laughs> I haven't been to the Frank Garvin Center um, in several years, but my my favorite time there was the time I went to an Elton John concert. So, so what sporting memories, though? I know that it's got a um, long storied history. Not many. Texas basketball. Probably that year Boddicker was just throwing it down on people. I watched KD play there a couple of times. That was fun. I've been to that arena two different times in my life. One was for a Baylor game, Dave. Mm. Yeah, they, they UT got smoked in that game. We got a good program. And then the other time was for, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this guy, uh, Kanye West. Oh, uh, yeah. You went Ooh, all by I didn't yourself. Know he was at Moody. Oh, by myself. I did go by myself and I had an absolute blast. The Frank Gerwin Center is not a great place to watch a concert. It was good for me because he was floating around. Yeah, that was the. Uh, okay. The Moody Center looks dope. It's Life swanky. Pablo I haven't really looked at too much stuff from it. I'm kind of hoping just to walk in tonight and just get my. Uh, Get my socks blown off. Get your rocks off. I'm not wearing socks to this concert. What am I saying? <laughs> Are you going by yourself? No. Who are you going with? Going with Sally, Sally? my sister in law, and her boyfriend. Very cool. Thanks for the invite. Are you in? Are you going to? You're literally going tomorrow? tomorrow. Why would I not go in the office tomorrow? I don't know because I I've seen the you concert's sometimes. not at like 11 a.m. David. I just figured somebody's going to be having a little uh, fun I don't, at that thing. I don't think I'm going to turn up at like a John Mayer concert. Might turn down for what? Mm. Turn him down for what? That's the song I was referencing. Thank you. You think Texas is going to land any recruits based upon that? What McConaughey just did? Like, there's some guys who just dropped into the transfer portal and they're like, "Hey, I'm I'm going to Texas." Just saw what McConaughey did. That's what I call him, McConaughey. No, but he sits next to him on the on the bench during games, which is kind of cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Yes. That's a little. That's a He's little McConaughey. Interesting. Is he really he works he for the university? Up pick and rolls. He works for the university. If he really cared yeah. about these kids, he would he would include them in Instagram videos so they get better NIL deals. Great point. Will. Instead, Put he's just blast. instead he's just he's just being the the centerpiece of all this and just <clears throat> doing like putting out viral videos of him giving speeches to these kids. No, you got to put these kids on a pedestal. His uh, wife wrote a children's book. She's very beautiful. Is it Heat? I didn't read it. I just saw the video he dropped with her. She's. Will it make me cry? I could write a children's book. Do it. Wow. If no it's one, so easy, dude, do it. No one's going to publish put, it. Put that on Dylan's bragging Says who? montage. If you, told, if you went to a publisher and you're like, hey, I have 41.9 thousand Twitter followers uh, would, and going down, would you publish my, <laughs> my children's book? Having, having, having read many children's detail. books to my son, um, you just need a, a dope illustrator. <laughs> Okay, That's but all? like, like the words, it's like there's nothing to them. You need, you need like a, a good message to go along with it, and it's like little Charlie goes to school, and Dylan, it's like 
I mean this. I mean no disrespect. You're the last person in here right now that would write a children's book. What do you mean? I don't think you. I don't think you have it. I don't think you have the juice for a kid's book. You could write a book, but not a kid's book. Yes, I could. I don't think you I would could. crush it. But no one's gonna publish my shit. But we'll Conway's wife, yeah, we'll do it. We'll let, let Brett do a PDF. We'll self-publish it. You could print it on your printer. Look, and we then, can sell a thousand copies. I can't print books on my printer. Yeah, you could. <laughs> what kind of printer do you have? It's, yeah, it's you a can, ba- you can print it's a anything if you put printer. your mind to it. Was it a dot matrix printer? Fucking nerd. You got a toner, dude? <laughs> but that shit's not even 3D. It's easy to write a children's book. Wow. You, if you were if you were a real fucking dude, you'd get a laser printer. Think of how many books you can print with your laser printer. I think it is a laser printer. Laser printers still take toner. You don't even know what kind of printer you have. All right, Gutenberg. Jesus. You don't even know what a laser printer is. You think you think it uses lasers, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe a laser printed this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. A laser printed this? We could we could collectively write a children's book. Yeah. Fairly easily. It wouldn't it'd take us like well, it'll take us like six days. What's it going to be called? It's not going to take six days. Yeah, we see someone to, to draw the pictures, man. Why don't we do? Why don't we do like not a children's book, but we'll do one for kids that are you know discovering what sex is, and we can just call it boners happen, and then we can explain like the sensations. So, I don't hate that, Dave. You ready, Dave? Do you want to write a book where we explain boners to pre-adolescent kids, prepubescent? I'm sorry. May I just. Don't want my name on it. I'll ghostwrite it. I ghostwrite whips all the time. Ghostwrite the book. Have you? Uh, yeah. When I, was the last time you did that? This morning. Really? I, I ghostwrote it out of my driveway. Then I hopped in when it was time to like tear up the street. Did you notice that little bit of traffic right outside? It's because I was swinging. I didn't notice the traffic. Wait, what? what I was swinging, swinging lane to lane. Really? Yeah. Why were you doing that? That's dangerous. I was just riding slab. Did you sit sideways or? No. Nope. Is riding slab how you say it? Have I been saying it wrong this entire time? I thought you were the slab god. I thought it was called a slab. Like I thought I was driving you can a, call slab. It a slab. Oh, okay. I thought it was a noun. Well, you can also ride slab, slow, loud. Dude, and that bad. sounds like the way you said it sounds way tighter than the way I said I it. I saw Will sitting on Dayton's out there. Did he? No. I'm not hating on Dayton's. You do some D's on it. I don't have any D's on it. Dayton's. They're lowercase. I have a neighbor who has an old Riviera that has the spokes poking out. Dude, that's fucking. How cool. are those not wildly illegal? They, Great question. They definitely I think about it often, be. but I don't ever want to ask because I don't want to look like a narc. Yeah, and I also feel like if I ever said anything to has like someone that has that, like they're way tougher than me just because they have. Oh those. yeah. Like I'm on the highway next to one. Oh, I better not get within six feet of this vehicle. It's going to take my wheels. It out. just seems it's really like reckless. A- <laughs> it's like a d- demolition derby car. Like, it's can you imagine, dude? Can, like, this is a hyper niche Austin reference. Can you imagine driving that to uh to burn it off that road that like has the smallest lanes I ever? Hate that road. There dude, are some some roads you just can't drive you on. Can't, if you you're not those. going to Mattel Rancho parking lot. No, no, certainly not. Oh yeah, you can't park in the Mattel Rancho parking lot. That's a great point. Well, you put out a hell of vibe though. No, you don't. You put out like the vibe of someone who's gonna stab you. Hey, that parking lot sucks. Yeah, it stinks, baby. Yeah, it it's it stinks. Don't drive to Mattel Rancho if you're visiting. I just pop curb. I park on the grass like a bad boy. That's I've bad never boy done shit. that. I'm too wimpy. Oh, I do it all the time. Man. I'm too scared, dog. Dylan you, did you that pop- last time, and I had to get my wench and go pull him out. Dude, I, stuck. I saw a woman trying that a couple months ago, and she took her uh, her bumper off. It got it got <laughs> stuck on like a little light. Did you laugh? Light post thing. No, I felt really bad for her, and that she was so embarrassed that she left her bumper there. There's no, true. you can't leave the bumper. She, she was humiliated because I, like me and several other people, were just sitting there watching. Oh, uh, see, dude, you didn't help. You she drove the, off. You've seen the finale of Seinfeld, dude. You get arrested for dude, that. Dude, she drove off. What do you want me to do? Like, I would have taken. Sorry, I just spoiled it. it. I didn't mean to spoil the finale of Seinfeld for anybody. I'm not a noted spoil spoiler guy, like Dylan. Oh yeah, I, I love to spoil. I was thinking about taking my front bumper and putting it on the back of my car as a spoiler. Okay. I wouldn't, I don't recommend that, but. Okay. Man, that's so embarrassing. 
I know. <laughs> you can't, know. You can't <laughs> leave your bumper behind. <laughs> I, I, I would absolutely leave. Like I'm not staying, but I would I would probably get the bumper. I would get the bumper, throw it in the car, and leave. This is toxic. What I'm going to say, but I mean, I bet she just called her husband. Was like, hey, you got to go by there and get this fucking bumper. Yeah, my, my I'm not going at Matt So Rancho. I'm not going back there. Some people leave their credit card behind, or maybe a purse or a cell phone. She left a bumper. Help! Somebody's probably left their car in the parking lot. Had one too many. Yeah. No, she just left a bumper. Anyway, what what was that segment about? Bless the moon. Connor Hayes got bless this. the moon. We took we yeah. wants to have more guests as we all do. Got a seat available platform if you want us to bless the stew. Oh, let's get him to bless, bless the stew. The stew. <laughs> Can I tell you about uh, y'all about an amazing new service I found called Framebridge? Please do. Will. I've been using this is one of those sponsors that I I was using before they were even a sponsor. Because Framebridge makes it super easy and affordable to frame your favorite things from art prints to posters to travel photos sitting on your phone. And with Mother's Day right around the corner, Framebridge also makes the perfect gift. In fact, select gifts ship next day. Here's how it works. Just go to framebridge.com. Upload your photo. You guys follow me? I'm following you. They'll send you packaging to safely mail in your physical pieces. And then you can preview your item online in dozens of frame styles and gallery wall layouts. And you can even choose your favorite or get free recommendations from their talented designers. The experts over there will custom frame your item and deliver your finished piece directly to your door ready to hang. So instead of hundreds that you'd pay at a framing store, their prices start at $39 and all shipping is free. Plus, you can get 15% off your first order at framebridge.com when you use promo code STEAM. You've been talking about how much you love these guys for a while now. Yeah, I stay on my frame bridge grind. Framing Dude. stuff traditionally is an awful, awful experience. Dude. You go in somewhere, they map it all out for you, and then you, they pretty much take you to your own funeral before they read you the price of what you're doing. It's not ideal. Framebridge does it much easier. Uh, I have been using Framebridge for a very long time. That's what I'm saying. You can do anything from digital, like portraits and prints. You can even get something. We have some old uh, caddy, what would you call those? Caddy schmocks from the PGA uh, Tour. Yes. We have a washed media one, and I think I'm going to get it put in a, a frame box thing from Framebridge. We can do all of ours together, or just yours. Uh, no, I think I'm just going to do the one that says washed media on oh, it. Oh, well, because it's going to look it's real company, clean man. and real nice. Okay. But they can do literally pretty much anything. It's wonderful. Highly recommend. Get started today. Frame your photos or send someone the perfect gift. Go to framebridge.com. Use promo code STEAM to save an additional 15% off your first order. Just go to framebridge.com, promo code STEAM, framebridge.com, promo code STEAM. Dylan, you do know that Mother's Day is the Sunday of your Cabo trip, right? I do know that. That's yeah. going to throw a lot of people for a loop on this trip who are like, oh, no, what? I didn't do anything. A lot of FaceTime going on from Cabo. I've already ordered, hey, Mom, I've already ordered the gift. You're like, Mine you're is, like four, penis, you're four penis deep at the pool like, uh, checking in with Nance. We're going to Cabo for Mother's Day. Just what? so happens Dylan's doing this thing. Well, they shouldn't have it so close to Dilly Day Mayo. It's on the moms. I'm sorry. Dilly dog. Dilly dog. Have you guys ever had the masculine urge to dig a tunnel? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, man. I mean, we've all dabbled in spelunking, so why not dig some tunnels? What's spelunking again? Cave dwelling. I know what Cave it is, but I'm just, I'm just doing that for the people at home. Right. Well, a recent Reddit post has since gone viral. You guys know what viral means? Yeah, it means it has well, morality. According to Micah, it's like 200 likes. Viral? No, according to no, Micah, it might be eight. <laughs> it's viral. So it's a, not. a girl went on the self-advised <laughs> self uh, subreddit. And she said, so I know this is a weird question, but my boyfriend likes to spend a lot of his free time digging a tunnel on some property that he inherited. I haven't seen the full extent of it, but last I saw it was remarkably deep under the surface. He spent roughly a year on it, and it's evident. The front of the thing is deep, wide, and well put together. At the front, which is the only part I've seen, he's got cement beams, electric lights, and even chairs and a small table. I haven't gone into it, but it looked like the quality severely dropped as the tunnel went further, mostly becoming an op uh, open dirt with some wood beams holding it up. Let me ask you this. Is she dating El Chapo? I, that's a good question. He's in the Supermax. Well, his his boys know how to tunnel. That would be look. There's a lot of, tunnel. If they tunnel figures. from Mexico to Denver or wherever in Colorado, Colorado Springs, where's the Supermax? Oh, Mexico, somewhere in Colorado. Then, you know what? Free, free the he man. Take, he deserves to be free. Just yeah, exo full exoneration. We're still mad at. Maybe you. this guy's employed by El Chapo. Has anybody done the meme of uh, 
he's probably out cheating and it shows like a pic her she says that and then the guy it shows him just digging the tunnel the meme tunnel. where where like i and he's thinking about other girls and then he's in bed just like god I, my tunnel is so oh, deep god I'm going to make so much progress this week in my tunnel. Oh, my God. Well, she's a tunnel. She notes later in her post that it used to be that he'd occasionally head out and do some digging on weekends, but now he spends almost all of his free time out there. He still comes home, but he barely spends any time with me, and I know that he isn't doing anything but digging that damn hole in the ground. Who just digs for fun? I don't get it. Dude, this guy just wants to dig. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Mudvayne, right? She said before he got to the property, he would still dig. Now he's just Now he's got his own land. You dig? He's just going ham. So I, I recently on TikTok, I got kind of lost on TikTok and I got stuck in a little wormhole, no pun intended. Did you dig it? About about dudes just digging holes. These dudes just love digging holes. That was a thing we did when we were kids. Have you ever have you ever dug a, a proper hole with a shovel? It no, sucks. No. It is not fun. No, these guys are digging like dope holes that like at the end of the like when it's done, it looks like you could just place a hot tub in them. Like they have like very straight lines on the walls of the hole and like they're they're high end holes. Why? I actually have one. They're high end holes. <laughs> hey, that's a nice hole you got there, boy. What's the damage on that? That's a good looking hole there. I think I've told this story before. It might have been on a previous podcast, but one of my friends growing up, he went to University of Michigan and had a professor who uh his passion in life was digging trees out of the ground. He would go stumping. So you'd cut the tree. So you, it wasn't the tree. It was just a stumping. stump. You would cut the top of the tree. You cut the tree down. And then there would just be the stump sitting there. And what he liked to do was with his bare hands, go out and dig and take the stump out of the ground with no equipment. That's really stupid. And it would take him. Like, Can you imagine his fingernails, how dirty? No, it would, dude, it would take him weeks to do it. If not, if There's not equipment months. for that. I had to take a stump out of my yard one time and I was able to get like 80% of the way there with a shovel and I couldn't, it wouldn't budge. So I pulled it out with my vehicle. It was kind of sick. That's, that's pretty manly. It was cool. You gotta be careful, man. Some of them roots grow under the foundation. You're in trouble. I hear you. Just digging a tunnel? What's the, what's the end game here? Don't, don't go Marvel on me, Dave. But what's the end game? It'd be here bomb for... shelter. Yeah, it sounds like he's had to get rid of like infinity stones. Right. That would be a good place to put them in a tunnel. What do the infinity stones do? Dude, you don't even want to know. You'll have to listen to Come to find out. <laughs> <laughs> do the do the cinematic universe of Marvel, our new podcast. Me, Randy, and Adam. Come. Will named it, not me. I can't wait to check in on that one. Randy, can you make a really good uh, graphic for that? <laughs> What's it going to look like? Like someone spilled a yogurt on some letters. <laughs> Dylan, I, you were talking about digging holes. I've got a, a hole with your name on it. Oh, really? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, it's out near Bass Drop Way. Bass Drop Way? Yeah. Uh, we should go check it out. At what size is this hole? Mm, about 85 inches. Really? By 30 feet. It's a very, very significantly deep hole. Damn. Yeah. It's shallow and deep. Is that right? No, you can't be shallow and deep at the same time. You're going to find out today. I don't know how to describe a hole adequately. <laughs> Turns out I just went out there and started digging. Dug it with my bare hands, though. You dug 30 feet down with your bare hands. Yeah. How'd you get out of the hole? Uh, rope. Wow. Are you going to put me in it, bitch? No, you can try. You threw a rope in the hole. Don't get dirty. Oh, that was a, that was pretty graphic. Yeah, that was Sorry. disgusting. Jeez, first he names the Marvel Pod, the Cinematic Universe of Marvel. There's that's a very normal standard name for something that's about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You have to think that they thought of that before they went with MCU. Like they were they were. <laughs> Going through the potential acronyms, and they're like, you know what? Yeah. What if we use a U with an umlaut, like to make it Qum? Ooh, Qum. What is that thing called? The umlaut? I, something like that. I was hoping that you wouldn't circle back on that. I, I don't know, man. I, I I'm a dummy on that too. That's the two dots, right? I don't know. Mr. Grammar over here probably likes it. Andy Grammar, Kelsey Grammar. Did you see the too much dip tweet? Oh I no, drop a pin one. No. Which one? Was there a grammatical error? 
There's oh, I great. I didn't want to call out anybody, but I so you're gonna, you didn't oh. want to do it behind the scenes, so you're doing it on on our <laughs> most popular good, podcast. It's a good tweet. It says uh, it was it's Devin Booker uh, dapping up a baby. Oh. It says meeting your new early twenties coworker. Oh, it's the your and the apostrophe. No, the oh, no, yours is fine. Yours fine. Sorry, I was. I think I was what? on high alert for the your. Someone explain to me why that apostrophe would would go there. You can't. You can't. You know why? It's because a lot. There's a lot of outlets that do that. A lot of people. Lot it's of people, more common than not doing it. Well, the it's thing crazy. about it is, a lot of people are stupid. Are you saying Landry's stupid? I'm calling him out. I'm saying he, Landy's apostrophe usage could use a, an overhaul. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you want to run through Dorn's, dude? Your kid's book should teach grammar. It should. There you go. I just gave you a purpose. <laughs> no one in this in this country knows how to use a, an apostrophe, and it's upsetting. I don't like it when people put an S after RBI. Oh, that's kind of smug. It's, ba it's baseball well, guy. It's baseball guy smug. Is. When you say it, you say RBIs. I'm not talking about verbalizing things, I know. Dylan. Oh, I'm, I talking about, I'm talking about grammar this here. This is a good thing to fight over. I like this. Let's fight over baseball, dude. I don't even look Did at. You hear RBI about Dylan anymore. and Will? Yeah, they, Will quit circling back. I Dylan beat at, him up talking about baseball. I only look at war. Yeah, why, above why would Landry yeah. do that? Yeah, that's the only stat I'm concerned. Why would Landry do that? Like slug, Usage rating. I'm a slugging percentage guy. Slugging, yeah. Come on, Landry. If Dylan, you're Dylan, you play a lot of baseball. What was your glugging percentage? Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. Bitch, it's pretty good. Catch me glugging. What did it sound like? Glug. Mm -hmm. When you were in your pitching days, what was your whip, Daddy? I just hit the nay nay. I didn't whip. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to play fantasy baseball. <laughs> <laughs> that that is one thing. Watch I will me never... whip, whip, dude. I had Cliff Lee the year Stop. that he during his Watch coming me out nay -nay. year. Pre Rangers, Cleveland Indians, baby. Oh, okay. So pre Rangers trade. Yeah, I got him for a dollar. I was. That was honestly one of the best days of. My Rangers life when they traded for Cliff Lee, then they made the World Series. Oh, one of the one of the best days of my sporting mm. life was when we got Prince Fielder. That didn't exactly pan out, but like when when you trade for someone like that in baseball, it just feels different. At least we didn't sign him to like an absurdly large deal, and then he like had neck problems and didn't really do much. His neck and his back. Speaking of, check. Look who just texted the too much dip. <laughs> Is Landry listening in? Did Randy just did Randy narc on us and, and just uh, air us out? What's your problem, dude? Landry. Hey, man, what's your problem? Shaking my head, man. Hey, we sold the blood couch for the people at home interested. Oh yeah, the hunk blood is out of here. It's, it's too bad. Really. No, we saved the little. We saved a little fabric sample. <laughs> we're gonna multiply the hunks. Those people were clutch yesterday, man. They want. They wanted to take anything we didn't want. Loved it. Can we talk? What else did they take? Oh, the table, pay? dog. Did they pay for that thing? I threw it in. It was a bonus. I threw in a added bonus value. Table. Shit. They added value. Out. Yeah. Well, they, they, that seems unnecessary to do when they're just they, picking up a table. I take it they didn't look under the table. It's all the gum that I put under there. <laughs> well, I drilled a big hole in the middle of the table for wires. The masculine urge to drill a hole. Well, we didn't the tell them why there's a giant hole in the middle of the table. It was actually, actually for glory. Dave just dug that hole himself, actually. <laughs> it took me a couple weeks. Yeah. I was just straddling the yeah. table just. They didn't have, yeah, they didn't ask why there was a big hole in the middle of it, but it's out of here. We used to lay face down on that thing. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Huh? What? Whoa, This Weekend in Fun, presented by Vizzy. Vizzy Heart Seltzer, you Vizzy, know what Vizzy, it is. Vizzy, Vizzy, can't you see? Oh, it's back. Man, the temperature getting over 75 degrees, that's a vibe. Maybe a little boat on the water. Another vibe. Woo! Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. Vizzy Heart Seltzer made with antioxidant vitamin C? Maybe a Big vi vibe? Maybe a vibe is just like a Thursday, Friday afternoon at the office. You just crack, you open the door. It's like 70 degrees. As I use crack a Viz and just turn up a little bit. Maybe that's the vibe. Dude, that's a vibe. Dave, would you vibe with me? Yeah, I'm cool with opening the door. Dude, Dude you Why stand not? up. That's uh, a, standing breeze, up, that's a vibe. Let the cool breeze come through. Bitch. I know. I mean, yeah. Just, what do you know about that? I think I can think of better places to drink a Viz. Okay. But that's none of, that's none of my business. But we're already here. I mean, anywhere I drink a Viz, I'm on vacation. I just shut my eyes and I just go to the island life. Vacation is a state of mind, man. Yeah. As the first hard seltzer, the antioxidant vitamin C and bold and delicious dual fruit flavors, Vizzy Hard Seltzer passes the vibe check. They just launched their first nationwide mimosa hard seltzer pack. Yes, I did not stutter there. I said mimosa. Mm hmm. I think they're sending us some. We're talking OJ and champagne, baby. 
not actually OJ and champagne, but this is a cocktail derived from that. We're talking real OJ. That's going to come in four different delicious flavors. Strawberry, orange, pineapple, Damn. orange, peach, orange, and pomegranate orange. I can't wait to get my hands on that peach orange mimosa back. Other stuff, uh, other stuff you need to know about them, like you, you already know about it. They got their other flavors too. They got the heavy hitters, pineapple, mango, black cherry, lime, strawberry, kiwi. They even got some raspberry tangerine. They went tanjo on it. I don't. I'm still stuck on those blue palmies too. Those are sick. You got to be. Actually, you know what? The lemonades are probably my all-time fave. But I haven't tried the mimosas yet. Mimo. Vizzy Hard Seltzer, the hard pa- seltzer that passes a vibe check because Vizzy is a vibe. To go find out where you can purchase Vizzy, go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash washed. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash washed. And to get updates on their latest flavor drops and more, you can sign up for their emails at VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. Again, that's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. Must be 21 or older. Dylan, what are you getting into this weekend? Thank you for asking, Will. My weekend kind of starts tomorrow, which is Thursday, as I'm going to John Mayer with Bay and some of her work associates. Should be a good time, man. I'm I'm uh, excited to check out the new Moody Center. Bless the mood. All right, got to ask. Give me your fit for Mayer, and Will, give me your fit. Oh, I haven't planned my fit yet. Yeah, I haven't planned mine either. Uh, What's Brittany have you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> well, Has she haven't. laid your clothes out yet? We, not yet. <laughs> We haven't we haven't discussed yet, but she's got something in mind for me. I'm You're sure. gonna be wearing a blazer. Maybe, maybe I will, bitch. Don't wear a, a blazer. Like a hoodie there. under it, though. Yeah, that's kind of that's your thing. move. That's Dylan's thing. Dude, that, that, that's Dave's like tech startup like vibe. No, it's Dave's. It's Dave's look. Mm-hmm. That's how I talk when I'm wearing it. Yeah, so I got Mayor Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Um, don't don't really have much on the books right now. Parks will be out of town uh, until Sunday. I get him back Sunday, so I'll hang out with him then. But until then, um, I'm open to uh, do something. Look, this is – I have a week and a half until I get married. Kind of crazy. This is my last weekend until that happens. Man, I, I don't know, man. I'm getting nervous, that whole thing. But if y'all want to hang out with me, I'm down. Mm-hmm. We'll see if you fit into my plans, but I want to hear Dave's first. Thanks, Will. Um, let's see. We got game three tomorrow night, and then we've got game four. I believe it's a Saturday afternoon game. Hopefully we got Luca back for uh, game four. I don't know. Some people are saying game three. Who knows? But um, we got a happy hour Friday. I don't know if we've really officially announced that. But <sighs> Brett's not going to be here for it. I, I really wanted Brett here going. for it, dude. I'll go, with, I'll go by myself. Okay. I'm going to happy hour Friday. Randy's going to ghost us. He's going to be like, no, I got some baddies on the line. That's something he's never said. No, no, he's our chivalrous king. He's yeah, he's a very. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I'm glad that I can trust Randy to not be a creep. If Randy had creep vibes, we'd always be like, God, is Randy doing something creepy right now? I mean, he's got dork vibes, not creep vibes. You seen his recommended? (laughs) No, scared. Every time I every time I try to open a browser on Randy's computer, that just starts freaking out. He has so many viruses. I think uh, I think we're gonna have a good weekend though. Gonna lay a little bit low. Had a big weekend last weekend. Do you want to hang out with me? Uh, maybe, maybe we'll see. I'm fun, man. Yeah, man. Last time we hung out, you had everybody over. I was sick, dog. Got I know. Sick. Yeah, we know. <laughs> oh, it's just allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Allergies are bad. I feel like shit right now. So. I'm glad I got sick when I did, because if I was sick like for Fritz's birthday, I'd be really upset. What are y'all doing for that? I guess this is a good segue into your weekend. Yeah, tonight's it's cake night. He's gonna be eating cake tonight. Yeah, my weekend starts tonight. Cake by Lake Austin. There you go. That's really good, actually. I'm probably gonna steal that tonight. You should. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna pregame the John Mayer concert with a little cake tonight. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna go vibe out tonight. Outside of that, like I've, I'll be honest, guys, I put out some feelers to some people that don't work for this company regarding hanging out this weekend, and it's bleak out there. Why do you always don't want outsource to hang out your hanging? Why don't you like look at us and like, hey, Fucking you guys want to hang out. over here? I don't get it, man. You never hang out those on the weekends. I reached out to my brother-in-law <laughs> regarding playing golf at Lions Municipal Golf Course to see if he wanted to be the fourth, <laughs> assuming like that you might is. be in. 
And guess what? They have a tournament out there this weekend, so no one's playing out there what? besides the tournament is it people. The, is it the? Um... It's their spring partnership, is what they call it. I think it's their most competitive tournament they have out. Oh, there. Oh, it's like a real tournament. It's not yeah, the, yeah. Uh, it's not the. I'm saying whatever. it's like maybe you could you could like toss me an invitation at some point. Well, it's kind of a given that I'm going to end up like talking to you, and so I reached I out know. to Micah, who's going to New York City, so he's out this weekend. So what's Drew up to, man? He's playing in the tournament. Obviously, yeah, dude, he's going to win. He's so annoying. I guarantee I guarantee you he will win this tournament. He will get a trophy for it. The last time I saw them play, he, he and his partner, last time I saw them play, they combined for 14 under on one round. And this is a two day tournament that usually finishes with 14 under as being the winning score. I'm sick of his shit. They're ballers. <laughs> hmm, whatever. But yeah, I don't have anything else going on. Fritz's party is next weekend. So this this weekend's pretty open for your boy. It's probably the first open week or the only open weekend I'm gonna have for a little bit. So I might need to take advantage of that. Who knows? Maybe uh, I'll go hang out with Randy and his baddies. Ooh, does Randy have another date this weekend? <laughs> I, we don't talk about Randy's eh? dating life publicly. Eh? Eh? He's he's not giving me anything right now. Uh, anything else today, guys? That was a fun one, man. You think Randy will invite you this time? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> he shakes his head. His track record is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, Daddy's tired over here, man. That was a good pod. I think, we, I think we left it out there. If you guys want to go. leave a voicemail for tomorrow, 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. What's your mayor fit? <sighs> I don't know. T-shirt probably. Right? I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna step out of a, a, my comfort zone for a John Mayer fit. Like you don't dress up for a concert, right? If if this was a concert where I had like bougie ass seats or something like that, but like we're we're just in we're just in some normal like narp seats, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> narp seats. <laughs> what are those, Ron? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Dylan, we have good Dylan seats. Dylan sit in the narp seats. Uh, Dylan's in like a box or something. Your your boy's down there. It's Britney's company. It's not. We're not paying for it. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume based on what I've seen that there's no bad Pretty seats company. in this place. There's going to be food and alcohol available to us. Oh cool. Faux nice. free. So sorry. We need Peasant, to pencil you out of the Peasants like me, day? I have to go eat I have to go eat before the show. No, it's I'm doing it tomorrow night after we record. Can I pencil you out a happy hour? No, are you kidding? I just oh, don't the first know, one man. there, bitch. Okay. 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 It's going to be oh. the four of us at happy hour. Brett's gone. You think I won't show up to fucking happy hour? We're going to force Randy to hang out with us. If you're a backer who lives in Austin that looks like Brett and want to go to happy hour with us to sub in for Brett, just send us a photo of yourself to the uh, Circling Back account. Or That's Dylan, Dylan really at washedmedia.com. Send all pics to Dylan <laughs> at washedmedia.com. Randy, are you in for happy hour? Sure. Okay. Nah, like, you have nah, no, you have no one. Come side. on, dude. You have no one cooler than us to hang out with. I promise I'm you. I'm going that. to the east side with Omar. We're going to eat tacos. You That's one hundred percent what he's going to do this weekend. Happy hour. We're using that that the money we uh, we made on the blood couch, the hunk blood couch, on for happy hour. Yeah, yeah. Our slush fund is going straight straight to uh, happy hour on, it on Friday. <clears throat> Let's Ooh. get out of here. Bye. Bye.